Welcome to the Turabian Formatting 9th Edition Manuscript Elements, presented by the Regent University Writing Lab. In this video, you will learn the main components of a Turabian paper. For more information about how to set up your page numbers or table of contents in Microsoft Word, you can view our other Turabian tutorial videos. Here is a brief disclaimer. Your professor has the final word on all style manual requirements for the class. The policy of the University Writing Lab is to refer students to their professor, their course syllabus, and their style manual. All Turabian formatting papers submitted within your class, regardless if you are an undergraduate, graduate, or doctoral student, will utilize the standard class paper title page. Only doctoral dissertations use the dissertation title page structure, which can vary according to program requirements. This is what a standard title page for a dissertation looks like. It is included here to show you the differences between it and the title page for a class paper. The title page for a Turabian formatted dissertation may include the title of the manuscript, school information, student name, and date of defense, amongst other things. However, for all class papers submitted in Turabian format, your title page should look like this. The title appears centered at the top third of the page and is double spaced and bolded. Also, your name, course name and number, and date should appear centered at the bottom third of the paper. That information should also be double-spaced, and each element should appear on a separate line. Please note that no information appears completely in the center of the title page. The title page, table of contents, and any other preliminaries that your document may include, such as acknowledgments and dedications, together make up the front matter of your manuscript. The pages of the front matter are numbered differently than the rest of the pages in the manuscript. The title page, although considered the first page of your document, is not labeled as such. No page numbers should appear on the title page of a Turabian paper. All other front matter, including the table of contents, is numbered using Roman numerals and located at the footer of your page and centered. The first page of your front matter, immediately after the title page, is considered page number two. Starting with the first page of your manuscript, your document will use Arabic numerals located in the header of your page and write justified. This page starts at number one. Here is an example of the front matter pagination using the table of contents as an example. If you need assistance composing a table of contents in your manuscript, please see our other Turabian tutorial videos. All Turabian papers must incorporate the use of headings and possibly subheadings. Think of these in terms of lists and sublists. As the writer, you have full control of how to organize your headers because they will be formatted according to how you organize the information in your paper. Thus, you should always start with the first level heading and only use the next level if you will be dividing the information in that section into two or more subsections. The formatting of these levels are as follows. First level headings will be centered in either bold or italics and use headline style capitalization. Trebian allows the writer to choose either bold or italics for this heading. The first main heading in a Trebian class paper is always titled Introduction. Second level subheadings will be centered, not bolded or italicized, and use headline style capitalization. Third level subheadings will be flush with the left margin in either bold or italics and use headline style capitalization. Fourth level headings will not be bolded or italicized, flush left with the margin, and use sentence style capitalization. Fifth level subheadings will be italicized and use sentence style capitalization. They are indented half an inch from the left margin and begin on the first line of a new paragraph. Here is what the first level of subheading looks like. Here is what a second level subheading looks like with a Turabian formatted manuscript. A second level heading appears centered, not bolded, and all main words in the title are capitalized. Here is what a third level subheading looks like. If you choose to bold the first level heading, the third level heading will be italicized, flesh left with the margin, and all main words in the title are capitalized. But if you choose to italicize the first level heading, the third level subheading will be bold, flush left with the margin, and all main words in the title are capitalized. Remember, the main point here is to apply your choice consistently throughout your document. Appendices contain essential supporting material that cannot be easily worked into the body of your paper. Examples include tables and figures that are too large to include in the text, forms to collect materials, copies of documents not commercially available, etc. They appear after the last page of content in your manuscript, but before any endnotes you may be including, and the bibliography page. Label the first page of appendices as Appendix. 
centered at the top of the page. This should be bolded, and there should be two blank lines between this heading and the first line of the text or other material. Endnotes are usually only used with the notes bibliography style of citing sources. The author date style does not use endnotes. In the manuscript, endnotes appear after any appendices you may be including, but before the bibliography page. Similar to appendices pages, label the first page of this element as notes centered at the top of the page. This should be bolded, and there should be two blank lines between the title and the first note. Incorporate one blank line between notes and single space all information within an individual note. Make sure to indent any runovers to the right half of an inch. Finally, the bibliography of your paper should appear on its own separate page immediately following your last page of text. It should be titled Bibliography, if using the notes bibliography citation style, and appear centered and bolded. There should be two blank double spaced lines between the title and the first reference entry. Thank you for taking time to learn about Turabian formatting and for making the most out of your Regent experience.